What is going everybody? My name is Chris. In the last episode, we built the Revive Lifeline, or attempted it, and we built the Force logo. We added some garages and some doors, which turned out actually really good. And uh, yeah, so pretty much this episode, uh, what I have planned is to make some of the ramps and um, just a few extra little details, and then we'll get more into the other stuff, which some people don't care about. But yeah, if you want to see the other previous three episodes, I'll put a playlist in the description. And then if you're having trouble with the merge glitch, we're not having trouble, but pretty much to you know move the put the objects that I'm putting into each other, you gotta do this glitch, which I'll put a link down below in the description. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So we have this thing right here, which yeah, obviously you can see the brick, but I'm gonna delete this one. And this will be something that again will just be kind of like there. And um, I'm just flipping it and moving it down and, you know, it kind of solves that problem because it's kind of just white up here. And that'll be something, again, we'll look in a later sode. And um, you know what uh, we'll actually we'll do right now? We're going to copy and paste this one. And we're kind of just making it give the illusion that there's no wave there. Which, it, it, can you see that? I don't know. I can't really see a glitch. Let me look. Let me skate around. Yeah, you can. So that's not cool. But uh, then what we're going to want to do then is make sure we have snapping off. Let it go and just move it over a tad bit. There we go. Sweet. So now it kind of looks like an actual box and that thing can stay there. So the first thing we're going to be doing is the jump ramp, which is going to be very easy to make. And let me just look at a screenshot of it real quick as you guys sit there. Okay. It's yeah. So I can't make the ramp look 110% exactly like the you know the ramp that it's actually there in real life unfortunately but you know i'm gonna do as best as possible but all we have is just this jump ramp and you know this will be something where more just like again you can just kind of customize it yourself but i'm doing it the way i want to do it and uh yeah so we got the jerk we got this jump ramp going on right about here let's see i'd say it's about i want to say two two even though it seems a lot smaller but i feel like that's all it is and uh it's definitely a little bit more angled and a little bit shorter for sure. It's like something like that. Let's just skate it real quick. And then I think all I'm going to do is just put some stuff on the side to make it not like that. Yep. Actually, it's like pretty much perfect. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to be doing, um, that was angling it very nice. We're going to go to style, make it factory. And then pretty much this just kind of gives it, not, I wouldn't say necessarily it's totally like a wood look, but it looks a lot better than having that black on the side. And this we can, um, again, it can just stay the same color. And uh, what we gotta do actually is fill in the sides of it. So um, what I'm gonna do then is just copy and paste this because the sides of the ramp, there's actually like a hole in on the bottom, but yeah. So let me see here. I'm trying to merge this in a little bit better. Like so, and I'm pretty stoked on that. I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. Let's see it. And we'll add like the, uh, you know, the thing to keep it very nice. Ooh, that looked really cool. All right, cool. So now all we gotta do is add the, uh, you know, I don't know what it's called, honestly. It's kind of like making me mad. I know what it's called, like the, you know, this thingy where you, <laughs> the metal. I don't know. <laughs> and this is actually gonna be very short, like so. And again, I'm just testing out just to make sure that the ramp skates good because that's what we want. Yes, and we can like, you know, add a trash can there and it'll look pretty cool. Next thing we do is the box, which unfortunately, I actually do know somebody who made a box similar to this that looked exactly like it. It was ridiculous, but I don't know how to do that. And I know I'm sorry, but you know, it'll still look good. <laughs> Um, let me, I'm just trying to figure out, I don't even think I'm going to add any coping to it because I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it'll look nice, but it won't skate as well. And I want it to be, I'm, I'd rather have it be more functional than look identical to it, if that makes sense. And let's see, is that a good size? And then we'll probably just, I don't know, same thing, just kind of make this size look not as crappy. I feel like that size is pretty good. Actually, yeah, well, I'll just do that. And this one I'm just going to kind of copy. Well, not we'll do the thing over here. Um, so I'm just actually just going to take um, since that's a pad, we're actually going to use the half-width pad. 
and place one in like so where it's kind of like lined up and as you can see these sides like don't intersect with you with each other which means like they don't um i'm trying to think how to word it but so pretty much just grab this object and then grab one of the uh half width pads turn it sideways make sure you can grab it like so and then what we're gonna do is try to grab both like this and um, we're just gonna kind of lift it out of the park so we can edit it a little bit better and take it on flip it so it's like on this axis so pretty much you're just kind of like moving it like this and we're just gonna merge it so it's uh, right about here and actually kind of get, we'll give the illusion that there's actually coping but in the reality there actually isn't it's just for looks but it actually look, it will look good though all right, there we go. We got that measured, and this pretty much just keeps it so like. So if I'm here, I'm not gonna actually do it. But if we move this over, as you can see, that side it's out, but this side it isn't, and just it won't look good. There we go. Well, I'm trying to make this look. Oh, there we go. It actually looks really good. I'm gonna move this over a tad bit. There is gonna be that kind of like weird thing right there, but trying to just make it as grindable as possible. Because if you merge too many objects into each other, it can create it where it's um, quite glitchy and you just it just makes it not fun to skate. So this box, uh, let's see, we'll move it out. Well, what do you guys, what do you guys think we should do with it? I think I'm just gonna put it against the wall, like right about, well, not against the wall, but I mean, you know, it'll be right about out here. This seems like a good spot. And the nice thing is we can move these, you know, because they're just, you know, just little boxes. And let's see, just make sure it's skatable. And it is. Fantastic. So, again, that's more just, like, this will be something, again, where it's more just going to be your personal preference where you want to put it. Yes. Okay. I saved just to make sure. Um, let's see. The next thing we have is that, like, really uh, small manual box, which will be... Um, let's see. So we're going to go to the ledge, which these are pretty handy. We're going to probably do two wide. Actually, you wait. Never mind. We're not going to use that. We're going to actually use the Zen thing because I know when I was watching, um, excuse me, uh, the videos, I was like, oh, I knew what I wanted to use that when I was going to build this park. So I'm going to mix terrain. This again is something where it's going to be just you, if you don't have the uh, DLC, which is this is Sand Van Party Pack DLC. Uh, the reason I'm using this is because uh, I can color it, and as the box looks in real life, it's all like one same color. And I think this is about what it. And eh, I'll make it a little bit longer just because it's skate and it'll look a little. Eh, no. Nah. Well, again, this is something that'll just be, you know, it's like pretty much like this. Like it's, it's really low. Well, it's like, I think it's pretty much this color, anyways. And I know there's a pole somewhere over here, which again will be something that we'll get in a later sewed. But there we go. Now we got some of the skatable objects and stuff, and now it's look it's looking pretty good. Now we're we're starting to get a lot like it. It's getting that character. And once we start filling like like when you look this way, not that way, um if you look this way, it looks like it's pretty much done, but this way obviously. Which well it's not gonna be that hard, honestly. It's a lot of just shelves, boxes, and just like a desk, a couch and like a projector screen. Like that's pretty much it. It's not that much left. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I believe this is part four already, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see more of these episodes, please click that subscribe button. If you want to, Again, if you want to see the previous three and check them out, there will be a playlist link in the description. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Peace.